it's a very personal story. You know, it's the story of my mother, parts of it. Obviously, I, you know, some of it is fiction, but like it's a love letter to mothers like mine who are black and brown women, immigrant women, women sacrificing for their families. And so it was a story that nagged at me for long enough for me to have to bring it into fruition. How did you find Anna? Oh, you know what? Anna was a gift from the universe. <laughs> I feel like partially I, I, so I manifested our connection because I literally tweeted about her like two years before I met her in real time. I saw her face, you know, I did never watch an episode of Titans, but I saw her face and I felt like I needed to dig a little deeper into her acting range. And surely enough, she's more than a beautiful face. Like she has the depth and the breadth to execute a role like this. Where are you from? Stats, you've been at. South Africa. Okay. Senegal. Oh, we got a winner. <laughs> And you also do a lot of research. I know we, yeah. from uh, listening earlier today, you do so much research, and it's so important that we know about the background yes. of, especially of the uh, the stories, the the fables, the yeah. about the, your your culture. How much of that is so important in this movie? I mean, all of the folklore, all of the culture, it's really specific. You know, American horror is filled with immigrant stories as well. And so it's also a very American story. Even though the, the folklore is new to American audiences, it's a really prevalent way of telling stories, Anansi and Mami Wata. So very close to my lineage, very important for me to introduce audiences to these figures. Beautiful and scary all at the same time. Yeah, th those are my goals simultaneously at all times.